Hello and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. If those of you are new, just tuning in, welcome. So this is going to be a general for the collective of Twin Flames. This will be your Twin Flames energy towards you and um, any kind of messages that will reveal their situation or their energy uh, towards you. Okay, since this is general, this is not going to resonate with every twin flame out there. I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below in the description. Whoops, I guess that wanted to be shown in my feelings right now. So that's your, your twin might be possibly feeling really sad uh, about you in this um, situation, going through something. But um, back to what I was saying, um, the decks I'm using here, including um, this deck here, which is my personal deck I created, Intuitive Envisions 1111, uh, Twin Flame Messages, uh, which is available for pre-order. That's going to be below in the description with the link, as well as most of the items you see, including the uh, jellyfish lamp uh, that you see here. Uh, the jellyfish lamp um, is the jellyfish are not real, um, just uh, to those of you new watching. Um, my Instagram information, and if you want to support the channel, that information is going to be below, okay, in the, descri in the description with a link. <clears throat> so, um, I think that's pretty much everything I want to say, okay? So, this is going to be the daily telepathy about your twin flame um, connection, okay? All right, so let's go get started, and then I'm going to get the energy surrounding this reading. Also, I do shuffle all the cards prior to coming on, so just to let you know. All right, so this is the Wisdom of the Oracle cards, and we have number 10. Uh, 10 signifies endings and also new beginnings. Unfinished sympathy. Symphony, I said sympathy. Uh, symphony, which is something about music. Okay, so I'm going to look up this um, card here. This is my newest deck, but I usually look up them anyway because... Sometimes you can get uh, additional messages, or at least I say I can get additional messages since I'm doing the reading. <laughs> okay, Unfinished uh, Symphony. So this is, um, I'm going to leave this card right here so you guys can see it. Um, essential meanings, unfinished business, an incomplete lesson, lack of closure, the need to make amends. Okay, so definitely um, your twin is feeling that there is no closure and there's some unfinished business between you. Um, this is a time to tie up the loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle or project or mastery of a lesson or skill before you can move forward. It's important that you come to terms with where you are now. Uh, practice radical acceptance. Take inventory so that emotional and psychological closure can occur and the answers you seek will be found. You can, can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished. Reflect on what has passed so that the symphony can finally end on a high note. All right, so your twin is feeling that there's some unfinished um, business between you guys, and they're definitely wanting to uh, close this, or they're they're feeling the need to close this, and um, they're knowing that if they do not uh, close this, um, it will you know leave them with uh, a lot of closure issues. So they are not wanting to leave it in that that state is what I'm getting. All right, so I'm gonna go get five um, cards from my uh, twin flame messages here. I want to hold you and feel you so badly. So this is your twin missing your touch, craving your touch, and um, wanting that, wanting that closeness, a physical closeness. Oh, look at that. That card came back out again. Wow. See, I love like how that happens on the camera so you can see in my feelings right now. So this is someone that's like really, you know, um, emotional about the connection thinking about, um, you know, feelings uh, between the two of you could be sadness, missing you. It says, I want to hold you, hold and feel you so badly. So they're definitely missing you and they're in their feelings, um, possibly reminiscing.
I'm planning to contact you. Okay, see, your twin does want to talk. They want to have a conversation because you guys have unfinished business, unfinished uh, symphony. So they're planning to contact you. Okay. Let's do, um, I don't know if I said it, but these cards um, that I created has 77 um, messages in it, along with a um, thank you card. When I saw you, it was no coincidence. So some of you have actually seen um, your twin recently and you were wondering if it was a coincidence when you ran into them, maybe you ran into them at the store or uh, maybe there was some correspondence online, uh, but I created this card so that if you saw your uh, twin in person, um, that you were wondering, hey, did they just happen to be there? Did we just run into each other by mistake? Um, no. They, when they saw you, it was no coincidence. Basically, they planned it. Obsessive overthinking. So your person is really um, in their head. They just cannot stop thinking about you, thinking about this conversation, thinking about their feelings, thinking about how they want to um, hold and touch you. And just thinking, you know, just thinking and thinking and thinking, basically just overly thinking, possibly even overanalyzing the situation. So this is the Celtic Tarot. I'm going to go ahead and get five from these two as well. So under, I want to hold you and feel you so badly. Ten of, this is Ten of Shields, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So this is about relationships on the 3D realm, family you know, feeling that closeness. So your person is wanting to um, hold and feel you. They miss this relationship. They know that it's solid and it has, um, it has value. So under, I'm in my feelings right now. Eight of swords. So this is that mental prison feeling trapped. So they're feeling trapped by this connection, feeling trapped in their fears. Um, when it comes to this um, connection, um, some of them might actually be um, in a situation that makes them feel trapped, bound uh, to another situation, especially with this uh, Ten of Pentacles there, uh, maybe involved with another um, connection. Under I'm planning to contact you. The Wheel of Fortune, this is about divine timing, okay? This is about things turning in your favor. Uh, Wheel of Fortune is um, when the, the wheels are starting to turn, destiny, fate. So there's another 10. There's two 10s here, which 10s indicate endings and beginnings. Um, 10 tens uh, could be significant. You might start to see those numbers. Also with those two 10s, so those are 11. So with the one in the one, so this could, um, you might see those as well. This could also indicate your person might be coming into spiritual uh, alignment as well as um, twin flame a connection. Actually, there's three tens here. I just realized there's three tens and an eight. So that's one, one, one. And then the eight is um, infinity symbol uh, for um Twin flame connection also can indicate something going on the loop, you know, back and forth. This person could be, you know, these fears, the feelings just keep, you know, keep going. Under when I saw you, it was no coincidence. So this is the fool. Um, this is about uh, the unknown, um, taking a leap of faith, you know, going off in a new direction. Um, sometimes it can uh, feel uh, foolish. So this person that when they saw you, they just kind of went on a whim is what I'm getting. They just like hoped that you were you know, going to be there and they just, you know, trusted and just hope they would, might possibly ran, run into you. So that's what I'm getting from that one. Under obsessive overthinking. Eight of Wands. So you have two eights. All these numbers are pretty much like the same here. 
Yeah, so tens and eights could be significant if you um, see those or um, ones, uh, ones and eights. So there's two eights here. So this is eight of uh, eight of wands is about communication, quick coming uh, communication. And also um, it could be indicate travel as well, but it's under obsessive overthinking. So I'm, I'm picking up that your twin flame is getting a lot of messages through telepathic communication, um, maybe in dreams, maybe just uh, keep on, you know, getting reminders of you. And it's just, it just, this information keeps coming into their head. It just keeps uh, getting uh, signals to their head is basically what I'm getting. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what's on the bottom. And then it's going to wrap that up. Wrap this, uh, the daily telepathy. Yeah. <laughs> so we have chaos and conflict. So I'm not going to look up the card here. Um, cause I'm like to keep these readings short, but there is some type of, um, what I'm sensing from this is, and you have 33 you see that. So that equals six, which is about balance. Um, so your your twin is wanting to balance this, this chaos and this conflict is what I'm getting from this. Um, they also could be conflicted on how to communicate, how to get this world turning, how to just go on just blind faith and just do it. Okay. I also see threes as prayers answered. Um, threes can also be about um, self-mastery as well. So let's go ahead and see um, what else is under here. I want to reach out to you, but I'm afraid you will reject me. So again, there's a lot of conflict going on in your person's head, obsessive overthinking, okay, in their head. Just they're getting a lot of messages going back and forth in their head, okay? And then we have the chariot, which is a sign of cancer, number seven, which is a spiritual number. And... Um, this is about your person is ready to go forward. See, I want to reach out. They're wanting to bridge this um, distance. This is about movement. This is about travel. But they're just, or they're afraid. They're still with that conflict. This, because they're just obsessively overthinking the situation. Um, that that's the problem. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope that resonated with you. If it did, please like, comment, or share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, I do offer personal readings. That information is below in the description. As well as if you want to um, order my Twin Play Messages deck or any of these cards here um, are going to be below in the description with the link. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Until next time, next video. Peace, love and light.